Hello there, welcome to Craft with Fee. Today I'm doing the promised video on iron-on transfer pens. And what this process does is it enables you to be able to trace off an image, whether it be a stitchery design from a designer, one of your own, whatever, but it allows you to be able to um, trace it onto normal paper and then turn it into an iron-on transfer, something that when you apply heat, it will transfer the image. Now the packaging here says that obviously it's a permanent ink. Um, make permanent non-bleeding transfers on plain paper for fabric painting, punch needle, embroidery, applique, needlework, labels, labels for quilts, clothing labels, woodworking and scrapbooking. So Kitty Rose stocks the pen in the yellow and the black. They're the two colours that I use all the time, so they're the ones that she got in. Um, the yellow I like to use on linen type fabrics it gives a, a nice, I think the black looks a bit dark on those. Um, I like to use the yellow on that one. But anyway, I'll show you um, how to use them. But first off, I just need to remind you that when you're doing an iron-on transfer, that your image is going to end up being reversed. So if we trace this with the leaf going off to the right-hand side, once we trace it, the image is then going to be on our... Uh, fabric the opposite way. Now all of um, our patterns moving forward um, and even the freebies that are in the group are all going to have a reverse image in them so that you can choose whether or not you want to trace it the traditional way or whether or not you'd like to use an iron-on transfer pen. Um, so you'll have that option you'll be able to use whichever image you wish. The other option of course is that you can trace it through a light box or whatever and trace it through that way you know get the ultra light source on here so you can actually use that to trace it um, and then when you do your iron-on transfer of course it's then going to come out this way. Okay so we'll undo this black one. Now these are very inexpensive, they're $9 each um, so they're not very expensive at all. They're a great great tool for you to have and as I said they are available in both colours so give them a bit of a shake and just remember when you are using them that they do have quite a thick nib on the end so if you want to get a nice thin stitching line you need to just um, trace using the side of the pen and not the full pen okay so this is what we do we just trace off our design oh he's not working yet that's what happens when you get a new one we'll just get him working here we go, he's working now. Okay, so I like to draw um, coming towards myself. So we just trace it off like this. It's a very, very simple process and as I said, if you use just the side of the nib and not the full nib you'll get that nice thin line which is what we want for stitching because we don't want to have to cover up the line if it's too thick and so what I'm using here is just an ordinary piece of paper just straight out of my printer just normal copy paper that doesn't have to be perfect Okay, oh, I've missed those lines off. So there we go. So this piece of paper is now an iron-on transfer. That's what I've turned it into. So let me take this over to the ironing board and show you what we do next. Okay, so here we are at the ironing board. Now, if you haven't watched my iron-on transfer video, my how-to, then I suggest you go and have a look. But I'll, I will run through it again here, but I'm not in quite as much detail. Um, so the our iron and transfer kits are in store as well and they include the ironing mat and also some tape which is what you'll need. So you need to get your iron on transfer and I've just chopped mine down as you can see, just chopped away all the excess paper and I've given that a bit of an iron, it's still a bit, a bit creasy but that's okay. I'm just using a piece of scrap calico here 
and we're going to pop our iron-on transfer down and then we're going to take some of our tape and we're going to tape it to the fabric and what that does is it makes sure that you um, your iron-on transfer is not going to move when you are pressing it. Now this tape is reusable if you're doing a few iron-on transfers on the one day if you're careful taking it off the paper you can reuse it. So then we put our ironing mat down on top of that. Now our iron needs to be hot and it needs to be on no steam. Um, so I've turned the steam off on mine and when we're ironing we're not going to move our iron backwards and forwards like this we're only going to put this heat down pick it up move it and then pop it back down again so we will start here at the top and then we count to about five or six in our head or out loud whichever you prefer and then you just pick up your iron and move it down onto the next section and what that does is the heat transfers the ink from the paper onto your fabric which effectively gives you your iron on transfer so it's it's a great technique and as I said it makes um, doing stitcheries and that sort of thing on dark fabrics so easy because you can easily transfer over your stitching lines so what we can do now is have a little sneak peek so we can take away our mat and we can just pull up one of the corners and see how we're going. And you can see there that the image has transferred over onto the fabric. I've got a couple of little spots where there's a couple of lines that need a little bit more maybe. So you can just go back. And the beauty of using the iron-on transfer mat and the tape is that it's going to be in exactly the same spot as it was before. You're not going to have any issues at all with transferring the image. You're going to get a perfect image every time. And I think this kit's, I think it's $6 or something like that. It's really inexpensive but a lifesaver if you're going to use this technique. So think about you know buying both if that's what you want to do. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So you can see what I mean about the leaf being on the other side so the image does get transposed. But um, as I said, if you're going to be doing this from any of my drawings, um, you'll find that I will have both in there for you so that you can um, you, you can choose, you know, to trace the old-fashioned way or whether or not you want to do this iron-on transfer method. So there you go. I'll pop the link to the store down below. So if you want to purchase the iron-on transfer kit or the iron-on transfer pens, as I said, both are very inexpensive, but they are wonderful tools to have, um, you know, for, for your sewing. I think you'll find them a lot of fun to use and it opens up a lot of possibilities for you. Anyway, I'll catch you next video. Bye for now.